Our keynote speaker today is Mrs. Marti Dehonova Grek, the Deputy Chief of Mission of the Estonian Embassy in Washington, D.C. She began her diplomatic career in 2001 working under Estonia's Foreign Minister Marina Kaljurand. She has taught at the Estonian External Defense Academy and been an advisor to the Foreign Ministry of Estonia. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce Mrs. Tihonova Grek. Dear Estonians and friends of Estonia, ladies and gentlemen, let me first say and start my speech with uh, saying that I'm really happy and honored to be here today and uh, celebrate the 50th anniversary of uh, Estonian Cultural Garden. It's always a very, very special feeling uh, to meet the local community uh, around the country. And uh, uh, I would like to thank you all for the very, very warm welcome that I have had here. And happy Jani Bab and Vojto Biham on behalf of Estonian Embassy and also personally myself. Well, uh, Thomas spoke about uh, the history a little bit. What I would like to concentrate more on would be the present. What is important for Estonia right now uh, in terms of uh, foreign politics and how can we take our cooperation with Estonians as well as friends of Estonia, uh, even to a higher level than it already is. Well, uh, 25 years ago, Estonia regained its independence. When looking back to these 25 years, we must admit that it has been a very successful period. Uh, we have a reason to be proud of ourselves. We have our own country, uh, where the official language is Estonian, our culture is very strong and uh, uh, very well preserved. We Estonians make our own decisions. And there are even sectors or, or areas or, or niches where Estonians are uh, world known uh, 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 and world famous for. At the same time, uh, when we have this success, uh, I must say that we also have to think about the future. We don't have to so stop here, uh, enjoying only the things what we have. We have to think about the future. Even though we have done very well, we should not become passive and assume that everything that has been achieved during these 25 years ir is irreversible. Just like in the past, also in the future, things could happen that could be challenging for our small country. I do not refer to the likelihood that, uh, the, or possibility that the events of 1940s uh, will be repeated and Estonia will lose its independence. I rather mean that history is not final and no country in the world can foresee every possible event and prepare for every possible occasion. What a country can do is to invest into its image and into its good relations, international relations. And when saying that, I definitely mean that one of the areas where we should invest a lot in terms of international relations uh, is the area of uh, security policy. Estonia made a very, very uh, big step towards guaranteeing its uh, security already back in uh, 2004 uh, when joining uh, NATO and EU. As to, specifically as to, as to NATO, 
the supportive role of US within that alliance towards the Baltic countries, it's crucial. US is our very, very close ally, and we are very grateful for that. As you know, uh, perhaps in less than a month, uh, in the middle of July, there will be the next NATO summit taking place this time in the capital of uh, Poland in Warsaw. Uh, all the uh, NATO allies uh, on the level of uh, heads of government come together uh, and have a meeting there. Today, Estonia is one of a few NATO allies or NATO countries who fulfills its obligations uh, to spend at least 2% of uh, its uh, GDP on defence. As to this upcoming uh, Warsaw Summit, we firmly believe that NATO has to be able to defend its allies collectively, taking into account all the forms of current threats. So in other words, NATO has to adapt to the so-called new normal, the era or the, the period that started in 2014 after uh, the escalation of uh, Russian aggression uh, in Ukraine. So as a result uh, of uh, uh, Warsaw summit, we really expect to see a significant increasing amount of NATO, uh, including American boots on the ground and military equipment prepositioned to Europe, especially to our region. And this all is for a purpose to serve uh, or, or to adapt to the uh, new normal or new situation. Well, the security situation in our region is unstable and will remain unstable for the unforeseeable period of time. To adapt to this new normal, we also expect uh, long-term strategic planning from NATO Warsaw Summit. And that strategic planning has to concentrate both on the eastern flank of NATO and also on the south. So in short, to conclude regarding the security policy, from NATO, we expect more presence, more prepositioned military equipment in our region, and better planning uh, to deter Russia's aggress aggressive uh, foreign policy politics.